Okay. There are complications. What fucking complications? Who are these people? What the hell is going on here? Why are they setting fire to the asylum? It's not part of the plan. It is necessary. There is no other choice. Do you realize what you're doing? Years of research, and you're gonna give up just like that? Sometimes a small evil is worth a greater good. Everything we've been doing for the last five years is a complete fraud. Remix must be destroyed. She died because of it. I won't let my creation hurt anyone else. Not this time. Nobody's interested why somebody burned down the asylum. It's a true evil. It is a necessary evil. So the daughter is talking to a mom. Jack? She has a deep voice. Jack, can you hear me? Where am I? Everything is fine, Jack. You're safe. Don't try to get up. You'll get a severe concussion and a large burn in your arm. It's all about every time it's like asylum, they do some like stuff there and demons arise from asylum and every movie like, is like that. How did I get here? Everything seems foggy. Who are you? You don't remember, do you? Let me introduce myself then. One more time, I am Dr. Romanov, your attendant physician. We found you on the road to the Memority Asylum. Memority? Never heard of it. Yes, you did. You just don't remember. You were there, Jack. You came from the asylum. Oh my god. They developed an experimental this? drug there. Ramos. I'm sorry for tying you down. Please understand. We know nothing about your intentions or who you are. People who lost their memory were treated at Memority. But someone didn't like it. Someone set fire to the asylum and stole all the samples three days ago. This person killed the entire staff and every patient there. All of them, Jack. Every single one. The asylum was burned to the ground. Nobody could find anything and then suddenly... Suddenly, you appeared. I suspect him. The sole survivor. What is all of this about? What happened to me? Well, you were seriously injured, so your memory jumbled up. Your head is now in chaos. It's not easy to restore it now, but you are the only witness of everything that happened. What are you driving at? Do you suspect me? I was one of Ramak's leading developers. My colleagues and I attended a conference when the asylum was attacked. We couldn't get over the shock when we heard of it. And then you appeared, and all of my colleagues decided you were involved in that attack. It's some kind of misunderstanding! Let me go! I cannot. Now you are very important for the investigation. Where the heck are we? I'm sorry, Jack, but I can't tell you everything. Ramex was supposed to be a revolution in memory treatment, a new milestone in the history of healthcare. Look, Jack, we are far, very far from civilization, and believe me, nobody will bother to come here. This is why we've chosen this place for Ramek's development. Okay. This so, asylum uh, belongs to a very uh, rich man, and he won't be happy back, hearing that the work of his life and millions of budget have gone to waste. But you can prove you are innocent. Ramex will help you. It will immerse you deep into your mind and restore everything that happened. Take the drug. Okay, let's take it. <laughs> but no, I don't want you it. said it's experimental. I, I'm not gonna take it. I'm sorry, but <laughs> you have no choice.
Alex is in this room. I suspect this game is going to be a doo-doo. Even if, even if it's fast, I'm going to enjoy this game. So Come on already. Okay, so uh, he's taking the Ramex and now he's like remembering shit. Stole the strawberries from his neighbor's garden. Okay. Oh my God. The road was blocked by a tree that fell after the last storm, so I had no choice but to continue on foot. I could see the asylum in the distance, and my way led through a long abandoned trail. A gentle wind was blowing from the west, and the sun was about to dip over the horizon. Nice. It's mm. impossible. Everything is so real. It's gonna come the day when you're not gonna recognize the games it's, if they're real or not. Like it, this looks really real. Really, really. I feel the wind on my skin. Hear the rustle of grass as if I'm right here. No, all of this seems incredible. It's like I'm dreaming. Where's the Simon? Jack, oh, yeah. focus. It's very important. It cannot be so real. Wow, it looks really amazing. Like, I mean, looks like a real tree. Look. Okay, when you come close, you see it's not, but in a few years, like 10 years, I'm gonna see a difference, I think. Yeah, wh what will happen when we're gonna come to the point where there's not gonna be any difference between the real world and the game, in the gameplay? I mean, the graph is gonna be so detailed. Then you cannot, like, Jack, do you remember how long it took you to get to the asylum? Not sure, but judging by the oh distance, God, probably an hour. Jack, stop wasting time. What you are doing is very important to us and you. We should deal with it in the shortest time possible. Try to rewind your memories and get to the point where you're already approaching memory. Rewind? How? Focus, Jack. This is your brain, your memories. Just let them guide you. We have a to do. Come on, this game cannot be any good. Come on. I'm already tired playing. Tall mountains on my right. Their snow caps shone brightly, reflecting the sunset light. It was foggy, but I could see Memority clearly. I remember this landscape. It widget itself deep into my memory many years ago when I had visited Memority for the first time. of the cliff. I saw a lone tree. It grew on the very edge and seemed just about to fall down, just like I could. But the mighty roots held its heavy crown firmly, and the tree remained still. Are you afraid of heights? No, but such a height can make anyone dizzy.
Later, the fog cleared a little. Kilometers, miles around. Oh, not Everything was like fully open like to my view. Very weird. There's like a space between the buildings. So weird. Jesus. Such a nice place, but then they built a sign. But it's only like a thing to be true. What is this? I saw a rusted sign. Oh, it told me I was almost there. What is that gondola or what? Oh, <laughs> you cannot go to that. <laughs> it's like invisible. Man. Oh my god, are you free? I remember a cableway on my right. The cables went very far, so it was unclear where it led. Okay, so we just proceed here or we can use the gondola. Stone. So detailed. Do you like the stone repeats itself, the pattern? I mean, they don't, do they? Oh, they do. Like, look at this in the middle. And then, uh, this one. It's not the same. <laughs> what, am I, what am I even doing, man? It's really nice. I mean, look. Oh, you can see. Yeah, but you see, like, the arms are, like, so plastic -y. The walking is pretty cool. Hmm. Okay, I'm here. Oh, my God. An old fountain, here. abandoned and overgrown with grass on my left. It probably pleased the eye with its beauty and crystal oh clear God. mountain water a long time ago. But time didn't spare it. God gave us such and a spares no one at all. Place on earth and then we yes, it it's to hard to argue with this. Oh, we came from here. Okay. Finally, I approached Memority. I saw neither a high gate nor massive doors. I probably came to the backyard of the asylum. I had to get in somehow. How do you manage to do that? I don't remember. Or at least I don't know that yet. I need to find a way inside. There is something here. Open, Open door. Why are these still open? Are they like treating people in dirty place like this? I can't fucking believe this. Look at, look at the wheel, how good it is. It looks man, like a real metal. So much details. So it's a, the game is using Unreal Engine, so they must be updating this stuff all the time. I mean, it looks. I've never seen like a game look like that. The, the latest Call of Duty had like the best graphics of, of all the games I ever played, but this one is pretty close too, man. Look at that. Crazy. I think they're gonna mess it up with faces and with characters. They're not gonna be so high detailed like this. Look at that, man. So what this stuff, the, what are they doing? Oh, press the left button.
hope it's not gonna be a vessel. Oh my god. So now, now I'm going back. What? I, I just had to turn on the... The electric. Is that it? Okay. I heard the hum of generators. Apparently I'd switched on the spare power supply. So where should I go here? Let's try. Jesus Christ. Some terrible place. I mean everything rust rusted. Okay, let's go back and then let's go out. If we can go out, I don't know, maybe. Oh, the water. There's the water. Oh. Okay, we're out. So what now? Okay, now we can There was an elevator that could lift me up to the asylum's back entrance. But it was de-energized. I had to turn the electricity back on.
Jesus Christ, please help me. I'm gonna go crazy. Oh man, I cannot play this fucking game anymore. It's done, I'm done. Like a uh, action game, like shooting, not like this. When I reached the top, I saw the entire mountainside on which Memority stood. Remarkable, Jack. Have you already entered the asylum? I'm almost in. looking for stop looking at my things stop touching them expect to soon see like some crazy doctors and shit like with scalpels and How important was this study? No. Important enough to annihilate the entire asylum for it. Jesus Christ, you cannot like walk and ask at the same time. I mean, it's ridiculous. Maybe this is the best one. Record one, effect of Ramex on the human brain. This experiment was conducted by Kira Adams. So, patient 046 suffers from complex personality disorders. Three years ago, received a serious head injury resulting in a coma. After waking from it, the patient ceased to perceive the world around him adequately and lost most of his memories. Oh my we started God. the patient's treatment with the weakest set of he protocols. He was up. given 35 milliliters of the drug intravenously. So he cannot, cannot go further, I guess.
Thank you.